<laughs> Bid mass and negative numbers, grade D. Question one. Seven times minus two, add five. Now, just a reminder, bid mass tells us the order of operations. B stands for brackets. I for indices or powers, D and M, dividing and multiplying, and A and S, adding and subtracting. And the order is, we do the ones on the left before the ones on the right. Now, let's look at our first example. Seven times minus two. Fortunately, that comes first. Seven times two is 14. Add five. Right, audience. Does anybody out there know what's minus 14 add 5? Yes, Bobby? Eight was nine, nine. Minus 9. Well done. First time. Right, if you've got a pen and you like this sort of thing, give yourself a tick. Question 2. Now let's see where bid mass creeps in. 7. Add 2 times minus 4. Now, we've got two operations. Adding and multiply. Which of those do I do first? Do I do the plus? Because that's the first one uh, I read from left to right. Or do I do the multiply? Bobby again. You do more. Well done, Bobby. Right. Now, 2 times minus 4. 2 times 4 is 8. There was a minus sign in the calculation. So we have a minus sign in the answer. So it's 7 add minus 8. Now, We've got two symbols without anything in between. Harriet, plus minus without anything in between. What do I change that to? Do I change it to a minus or to a plus? Not a plus. You, well done. I don't know how you went from that. Uh, <laughs> right. So if they're both the same, it's plus. If they're different, as they are in this case, it becomes minus. Now, Tommy at the front. Seven, take away eight. Minus one. Well done, Tommy. Just for those listening out there, Tommy, only a few months ago, was involved in a near-fatal car crash and half his brain was removed. But thanks to therapy and my skills, he has now mastered simple tasks like this. Well done, Tommy. Now, good job they didn't turn the life support machine off, isn't it? Right, now. Five. Take away. Minus four squared. Now forget those brackets. I put those. Well, actually, I suppose no, we shouldn't forget those brackets. There's nothing happening in the brackets, so they don't really affect things. I just put those in for emphasis. We can do that just around a single number. What do I do first? Um, Betty, do I do five take away minus four, or do I do minus four all squared? Now, minus four squared. Minus 4 times minus 4. Gaza, what's minus 4 times minus 4? Minus 16. Four. Let's have a look. I had, the, just in case you didn't hear that audience, we had the suggestion it was minus 4 times minus 4. Well done. 4 times 4 is 16 and we've got two minuses, Gaza. Don't say bad words under your breath. You just got a math question wrong. You didn't lose a loved one. Right, so what do we change minus minus to? Harriet again, let's see if this is sunk in. We've got two sim. Well done. So could we right now, underneath, that's five, take away, plus 16. Remember, guys and girls, the girls aren't particularly good at maths, so there probably won't be many listening. Uh, when it's squared, it becomes plus, whether it's minus or negative now. We've got minus plus here. As you remember from Harriet's first or second answer in the end, wasn't it? Minus plus becomes minus. Now, Cynthia, what's five take away 16? Cynthia? Minus 11. Well done. Right, last one we're going to do as a group. Then I'm going to give you, uh, audience, and you out there in internet world, six examples to do on your own. Now, Ian. Right, what do I do first, Ian? Do I do 7 times minus 2? Do I do minus 2 add 3? Which do you think we do first? 
42 add 3. Well done, Ian. Now, minus 2 add 3. Um, yes, go. Minus 1. And remember, you're probably wondering about Tommy out there, aren't you? Tommy, here's another question. 7 times minus 1. 7 times 1 is 7. Well done, Tommy. But we have a minus sign here, haven't we, Tommy? So what should the answer be? Well done. All right. Now, if you're out there listening and, what, or, and watching this video, put it on uh, pause after I've written up the questions. Why? Oh, sorry. I, one of the audience asked, why minus 7? Seven? 7 times minus... Yeah, hang on. Blimey. See, I'm forgotten this who okay. Cynthia minus two add three should we go back <laughs> Cynthia minus two add three I've oh, got crying out loud sorry <laughs> Bobby at the back minus two add three <laughs> um, Mary <laughs> Plus one. Seven times plus one is plus seven. Right. Okay. Back to the questions here. All right. Away you go. Right, so I say put it on pause now, and in a few minutes we'll put the answers. Okay, let's just go uh, through the first one. We do the multiplying first, so you should have got 6 plus. 2 times minus 4. 2 times 4 is 8. There was a minus in front. Now we change the plus minus into its equivalents. We do that because there's nothing in between. And 6 take away 8 minus 2. Raise your hand in the audience. Who managed to get minus 2 for that one? Well, that's the that's start. Okay. Right, just give you another couple more moments. See how many you can get right in the time I've given you. Five take away eight is minus three. So it becomes minus three times minus two. Three times two is six. There's two minuses there. And we write that that's equivalent to plus six. So the answer is plus six. Question seven. Seven times minus two or squared. We do the squaring first. Minus two times minus two is minus minus four, equivalent to plus four. So seven times four, I've left out the plus sign, that's the convention, equal to 28. Now, we've got quite a bit in this question eight. So let's run through this slowly. We've got a subtraction, a multiplication, and a squaring. We do the squaring first. Minus 3 all squared is minus minus or plus 9. So we write 21 take away 2 times 9. Next I do the multiplication. That's 21 take away 18. 21 take away 18. The answer is 3. Give yourself a tick if you've got 3. Just out of a matter of interest, audience, how many of you got plus 3 for that or 3? Well done. Those two that got it right. Okay, now... Question nine, there is an awful lot, so I'm going to run through this slowly. We do it in stages. We've got some squaring or index work. Minus three or squared is nine, so your first line should be this. You only do one operation per line or one set of operations. Next, we do the multiply. Two times minus four, so we've got nine plus minus eight plus 11. I change the plus minus. 
to minus. And then we've got this simple uh, set of additions and subtractions. 9 take away 8 is 1. Add 11. 12. Who managed to get 12? For question 9. And well done indeed. That's the sort of a technique that you need to master if you're going to go on and get better than a grade C. So before you panic, for those that are struggling a bit, you can get a grade C without being particularly proficient with that, 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 this particular technique. Finally, question 10. Let's work our way through. We do the brackets first. So 7 times minus 4 add 2 is minus 2. Next, we do the squaring. Minus 2 times itself. Minus 2 times minus 2 is minus minus 4 or plus 4. Put the sign in here. You can see that makes no difference. 7 times 4 is 28. Makes no difference. I hasten to add when it's positive. So it's plus 28. Raise your hand. Who got plus 28 there? Okay. Audience and uh, listeners out there in internet world, okay, if you'd like to put your mark out of 10, if you've got nine or more, that's good work. If you've got seven to eight, it's satisfactory work. If you've got six or less, I'm afraid... You need really to improve your effort. Now, stop. Just before I finish this recording, many of you think, well, I tried really hard. Why is that person out there, that uh, faceless internet teacher saying improve effort? Well, I tried hard. Because I'm old-fashioned. I'm going back to the 20th century. The facts are you could have tried harder. You know, don't blame me for saying the truth. Right. Anyway, those of you that enjoyed that show, thanks for listening. For those of you out there that's a rude wake-up call, get real. Smell the coffee. Goodbye. Right.